Hi Capricorn, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm going to be doing your reading between October 1 to 7. Let's see what's happening. What is the current energy and what's coming up in your life? This is a general message, so take what resonates. For personal readings and more accuracy, I'm available on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. I also do my previous spells for higher scale. We have energized, pure intention charge, high vibrational manifestation crystals, which you will never be disappointed with because these crystals are pure and best quality. Over that, I energize with your personalized intentions. Check out more on my Instagram. You can also reach out to me directly. You have all the options given down below in the description box. Please follow that. And do follow my Instagram for all the updates, feedbacks, free monthly horoscopes in short. And do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel Capricorn for more videos on your sign. Sun, moon, rising or Venus sign in Capricorn or cross watchers. Let's see the messages for you. Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands. This card wanted to come out. Yeah. Double Nine, the Emperor. Four of Swords, Eight of Wands. Wow. Please clarify Nine of Swords and the Nine of Wand energy. Page of Wands, <clears throat> the Death card, the Nine of Pentacles. Capricorn, there could be an Aries or a Scorpio around you or any other sign. But there's someone that is feeling extremely attracted towards you and wants to dig in this connection i feel like there's someone that's digging on you and that wants to connect with you they want to give you gifts but there's a problem over here they're hiding something now i feel like this could be about them being already married but there is a possibility that if they're already married this person's going through a divorce or there has been a recent separation between they and their person because it was toxic with a death card over here this person is someone that is living in pain. I feel right now they have no love. They're feeling alone. They're feeling uh, lonely. And they really need someone with whom they can feel like life is back. And they can feel the adventure. They can have fun. They can uh, live in the moment. They're going through a lot. There's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of fear around responsibilities that they have. And not being able to find a new love in their life. This person is someone that cannot share their worries with anyone, just anyone, because they could be an authority figure. Some of you, this could be someone senior at your workplace, very interested in you. But whoever this is, this person is at a higher position. They're quite successful. The moment they see you, they will have this sudden urge to go deep into this connection. They want to shower you with gifts. They want to do random things to you that can make you feel happy that can make you laugh like that, that can make you jump in joy they want to speak, see a smile on your face i feel there's someone that is literally getting very attracted towards you but there's something from the past they're trying to come out of they need transformation and you're the biggest change in their life you came into their life and they saw hope yes they're also having difficulties you know dealing with their traumas i feel they have difficulty sleeping to bed i'm sensing they work a lot to avoid the stress to avoid the guilt of the past so something from the past that still makes them feel bad or guilty so they're trying to avoid the bed by not thinking about it they're trying to avoid the situation by focusing a lot on work so this is someone that you can see is a workaholic that is why they're way successful it's just that they want to keep their heart closed. But you have come into their life which has made them sit and think, oh, maybe this is the most exciting part of my life that I should not skip on. And they want something serious over here. But this person is slow. Like you won't see this person coming towards you all of a sudden immediately. They will come towards you, but slowly. Because they're cautious and they're still going through something. 
Four of Pentacles. This person has a lot of bank balance, but they feel alone. They feel lonely. They feel it's not everything that they were looking for. And they also have a tendency to hide their pain, hide their emotions. So when you see them, you feel like, oh, why this person always have a poker face? I'm seeing they have like, uh, they've done a lot of investment. They, they have a lot of jewels. So that is why maybe the there's someone that people take advantage of and they don't like it that is why they like to stay alone that's the energy that i'm getting seven of souls they have a fear over here they have a fear of being backstabbed they have a fear all of this they don't want it for themselves they really want someone that they can truly trust and share their wealth with but at the same time they don't want someone that is greedy this person is tired of doing everything all by themselves. They really need a support system. They want someone that loves them for who they are and not what they got. So I feel they can see that in you. But they're still in this fear like maybe are they, uh, whatever they're expecting in this connection, will it work out just the way they want? So there's, there's a lot that they're doing. I feel they're making, maybe they have a son also. That's also the energy like um older son i feel old son like uh adult that's a possibility you could be dealing with someone way too older very very few of you but most of you it is not that for most of you it is that that this person has been working day and night to make money to make wealth to but they're still not happy i'm not seeing them happy they have a lot but they're fearful that one day uh someone will come in and take advantage of them Okay, use them against uh, them and, you know, for the money part. I feel like they have very, very little trust, very little trust in people. They want to trust in you. They want to assure you that they're there for you emotionally. They want an emotional connection. So they see that with you, they can definitely create a bond which is spiritual, which is emotional, and this can last long. So that's what they're thinking right now. So maybe you've met this person already. I feel Capricorn. This is someone that hides a lot. You'll see them, like they're coming towards you really slow. Give them space. Let them be slow. Let, let them take their own time. Let them come towards you on, whenever they're fully ready because they're in this inquisitive mindset right now. And they're trying to figure out whether whatever they're doing or they're believing in is that correct. Is it going to work out? So don't push them to do things. Let them follow their own course because this person is also going through a healing process. You on the flip side are full of life, happy, and you believe in yourself. You have your own, you know, um, you know, mindset. You, you don't like to sit and beg over people. Like you're doing your own thing. It does not matter what you have, what you don't have. You're just happy in the, in whatever you know, uh, situation you're in. This is what they appreciate a lot. This could be a Sagittarius. They have a fear of losing because they lost someone in their family. I feel they lost someone or they had gone through a major separation that was bad. Maybe they have a kid. So I feel like all of these things is making this person too cautious or whether should they trust once again or they should remain the way they are so i feel like they're trying to also get rid of their old pent up you know wounds traumas fears anxiety so they're trying to cover that all up so they're not showing you that they've gone through a lot you will see this person as being someone busy and having a good life but you don't know that this person is hiding a lot of pain inside i'm sensing this could be a leo very strong energetic see five of cups they always are in this fear of opening up their heart and then losing someone so there's always a fear over here so there's a fear with you as well this person someone that is stuck on the same routine and they have a fear of changing they have fear of change they are not that flexible they've become too stuck with you know the same thing they are too organized and you know they do everything with planning proper planning six of pentacles i'm seeing you guys are gonna meet again and again and again and this meeting the more 
this meeting takes place the more you guys will connect on a deeper level the more you guys will make a good pair and the more you know communication will take place and they will feel like oh i have to do something for this capricorn like i'm sensing that this person wants to give you a precious gift like they want to make you feel special they want to do things that they haven't done for other people just to ensure you that they care so i feel like this person will show you a lot of courtesy okay when you guys are outside you see this person's being too courteous too loving and too caring and too respectful six of cups you remind them of someone from the past i feel like uh, maybe they were married or maybe there was a solid relationship with someone they lost somehow or they had to let them go for some reason they're still attached to that person i feel when they see you they it reminds them of their past so that is why they have feelings for you but at the same time they have a fear of losing you as well okay so there's a connection with the past and you three of wands they definitely want to grow they definitely see that they're in the present moment they're not in the past they're not living in the past they're living in the present they want to think of the future so they're ready to explore this they're ready to take things forward and i feel you see this connection can you know become even more fast forward in three months from now all right you guys may not be talking right now but real soon i'm seeing that this person is going to cover up all the dues of no contact because they've been going through this extreme contemplation start trying to find out whether this is going to work out or should they just let it be okay the devil three of pentacles they're stuck with the work there are a lot of people that are using them for money and they know this thing they know this thing so somewhere i feel like they're too trapped in you know the same atmosphere same routine same people that they're just tired but they've gotten used to it they want to break that habit and come towards you with a new energy they want to experience something new the adventure that you can bring into their life there's someone that has been trapped this person might be rich but this person is not greedy they're not greedy at all there's a difference between having money and having greed i completely separate the two things it doesn't mean a person if they're rich they're greedy if they want to be rich they're greedy no greed comes when even if if one person is not rich they can be greedy so this person is not greedy but there's some codependency there's some addictions or some responsibilities that this person is handling financial responsibilities that they're completely trapped into they really want to disorganize everything that they've organized so far they're tired they want to make a big change they want to introduce a new person in their life and that is you seven of cups they always live in fantasies thinking about what if this happens what if that happens what if i have a love of my life what if i'm released of all of these dramas or all of these expectations people have of me they think of leaving everything they they think of resigning and they think of leaving everything in just going somewhere else but they can't do this because we're living in a reality that is why they want to be with you they can't speak about their problems with anyone else that's also what i'm seeing here i'm seeing that the more they're thinking about you they're stuck on you and they're getting obsessed with you it's just like they want to see you every moment every day they want to hear your voice you'll see this person becoming super obsessed with you okay for ones this connection is definitely growing within 3 months time moving fast forward and i'm sensing this connection can move fast forward towards deep commitment marriage is all i'm seeing right now for ones is all about marriage king of cups this person is laying out their hand of love maybe they're going to propose you within the 3 months time frame for marriage get ready this is someone that's coming out of their shell and wants to open up their heart and experience this love relationship marriage and everything all over again with you okay so the care for you the reason is that some of you this person could be a veterinarian or any other person but what i'm seeing they care for you they really care for the for all the animals for all for the na towards nature towards human beings they're extremely caring you'll see this person's care and attention towards you whenever you call them they'll always be ready for you So this person always is ready to take action towards you when it comes to taking care of you. I'm seeing them stalking you right now. Very interested and the more they stalk you the the more they check your pictures they fall in love I feel. 
they see you as someone that is too guarded as well they see you as someone that is like working they don't you know as off and you don't have re you really do not have time for drama to for fun and random things they can see that you're uh focused you're career minded you're business minded so they really respect and value that but you could be younger than them that's the energy that i'm getting this person wants to pamper you smother you with gifts they want to give you things that can make you laugh and smile and jump in joy this person has a huge crush on you scorpio pisces cancer energy they can't wait they want to take you out you'll see you you hear from this person they're asking you out they're asking you to enjoy the world they want to take you to adventures they want to bring happiness in your life as well and a change in your life as well so they're taking a leap of faith asking you out real soon so i'm seeing that they want to enjoy life with you they're taking you out you guys are going out and you guys are having fun it's all about fun right now so a lot of positivity in this connection will come you are really special for this person you mean a lot to this person so they're valuing you a lot privileged lady you are the best thing you are the best thing in their life right now or they're not ready right now maybe they're taking some time give them time because they this is what they're going to say to you in october so yes this person is stuck on something they're trying to get rid of the past because they really want to embrace this new love energy they know you are a true lover they love you they like you they fall in love with you you have healed this person you may not know this but somehow i feel since the day they've met you they feel like their life is changing they're healing they're becoming more open to love and uh, started liking everything and started attending things you know in a more positive manner i feel this person is going through a major major healing right now they need to speak about it but they don't speak about things you may meet this person through teaching schooling okay but i'm seeing them letting go of their fears and worries they're no more into that they're no more lingering in the same energy anymore they speak the truth to you real so you could be a student they could be a mentor amethyst where an amethyst like it will help you stay in your own energy you know that this is what they want they really want the, their person should stay in their own energy you'll be able to reveal yourself properly now let's see the signs that are coming in for you capricorn then we're going to move towards an all sign message okay we have gemini we have cancer we have virgo libra Okay. From Aries to Pisces, let's see the person's feelings for you. Aries is smitten by you, but they're too cautious of getting hurt. They're contemplating their move towards you, fantasizing about you a lot. Taurus, Taurus is obsessing in lust over you. Gemini. Gemini wants to release their fears and come towards you with a new beginning. Cancer. Cancer wants equal give and take. There is no contact with, between the two of you. I feel the cancer. If this is someone you already know, they're getting rid of you. I'm not seeing this person interested over here. Then we have Leo. Leo is in deep thoughts. they want to make an effort towards you but they think it's going to be difficult virgo is coming with a love offer this is someone that sticks to their you know feelings i feel this is someone that holds feelings and they have been holding feelings but they're not telling you now they're coming towards you and letting you know how they feel libra very attracted towards you they're taking action for a new beginning they're going to propose you real soon scorpio scorpio is making a decision right now they want to let go of something before they can come towards you 
properly. Sagittarius. They're taking slow steps. I feel they also want to see what you feel for this person before they can take action towards you. But they've been watching you a lot closely. Capricorn. There's someone else in their life that they want to choose between you and the other person. Aquarius is highly attracted and impressed by you. This person is thinking about long term with you. Pisces. They want marriage. They have been waiting for the right decision, the right thing to do. And I feel they've made up their mind that they want you by hook or by crook because now they're healing. And while they are healing, they've decided that they want to marry you. Let's see the charms. Yes, see, I was telling you, there's someone that is a student and there's someone that is a healer or you're a healer for this person and a student to this person. There's an age difference. Someone is into real estate business. <clears throat> or is teaching english courses that's what i'm seeing someone is from canada england italy someone works for google someone has a little toddler okay italy london tokyo england greece ghana oman Thailand, India, America. So these are some um, countries I spoke about. Ecuador is also there. I'm seeing the money is definitely growing with a double three, sorry, with a triple zero. You can see 1,000. You might receive $1,000 from somewhere maybe yes you will get this much money from somewhere yeah but i'm definitely seeing that there is this person that is just, just waiting on the right move to take towards you These are the letters in your name or your person's name or initials. I'm seeing this is going to be extremely romantic relationship. This person is trying so hard to build a romantic connection between you and them. So it's beautiful energy that I'm sensing. I'm also seeing too, like this person is doing something that involves hands, like working with hands. That is the work they may be doing or you are doing that work. So that's a hint, right? So that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed this wonderful, beautiful read Capricorn. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Come back for more. I'll see you back again. Bye.